Father, dear, God bless us. Yes, yes, I'm starting. Honorable Chairperson, the dignitaries, His Highness Honorable Dr. Ashok Kumar Gadiaji, Chancellor of Mewad University, Rajasthan, Professor KVSM Krishna Ji, Vice Chancellor of Mangalayatan University, Aligarh UP, Honorable Professor Abhay Kumar Ji, Vice Chancellor of IEC University, Honorable Brigadier Dr. P. S. Sivajji, Honorable Pro Vice Chancellor of Chitkara University, Chandigarh, Punjab, Keynote Speaker Professor Dr. Sanjuji Puri, Vice Chancellor of Bhagwat Global University, Garwar, Uttarakhand, Professor Dr. Chitra Lekha Ji Singh, Dean Humanities and Social Sciences, Fine Arts, Yog, Mewad University, Swami Paramat Devji, Dr. Jaivir Singh Ji, a uh, radio jockey from uh, uh, Canada, Honorable Munir Mani Ji, uh, TV serial actor, Honorable Rohitash Ji, the convener, Dr. Rajesh Saini Ji, other special invited guests who are present on this virtual dais, the convener and the whole organizing team of this online international e-conference, and esteemed participants who are assessing accessing this event through Zoom and rest who are watching us through YouTube Live, I think so, from different corners of the country and the world. A very good evening to one and all. Topic of this e-conference is watched as it is a multidisciplinary which covers fine art, culture, literature, yoga, science, technology, and innovative research, and its roles in the global fight against the COVID-19. TV serial actor Rohitash Ji talked on the role of drama, that is theater in pandemics. Swami Paramat Dev Ji from Patanjali University talked on the role of yoga in such epidemics. Video star from Canada Honorable Munir Mani Ji talked on the role of music in such a critical period. Honorable three vice chancellors and one pro vice chancellor talked on the role of their domain in such crisis. As I am from literature, I would like to talk on the role of literature in such epidemics and pandemics, not only a present COVID-19, but like such pandemics and, and time of crisis in any time. Friends, COVID-19 outbreak has made humanity at stake and subjected to an unimaginable hardship. The World Health Organization declared this outbreak as a public health emergency of international concern and a global pandemic. Irrespective of age, gender, race, or place, we all are facing the challenge, challenges of COVID-19. It has led to postponement or cancellation of sports, religious, political, cultural, and educational activities and events. Schools, universities, and colleges have closed either on a nationwide or local basis in around 194 countries, affecting approximately 98.5 of the world's teacher student population. This pandemic has brought not only the risk of death from infection, but also various challenges to the society and individuals. Preventive measures and restrictions in the form of lockdown and social distancing have challenged the social, psychological, and emotional life of its citizens. Coronavirus has locked down approximately 4 billion people in the world. It is obvious that the virus seriously poses the global threat and drives the people to survive with the fear. This fear caused chaos among several areas. The poor, the economy, the mental health of the bread earners of families and field of educational affected several, severally. And many demands were not supplied due to the contagiousness. We teach in learning community too in various ways. Students, are, students also are going through immense stress. We are witnessing to the migrants' crisis owing to pandemic. Their lives and hopes are shattered. The current pandemic is not just a medical tragedy. Even when the medical threat will disappear, psychiatrists say people across the globe will battle psychological scars for years. In the beginning of the year 2020, 
the world might not have imagined that in the 21st century, where medical science has extended its wing so far, a mere virus can change our entire life and affect the entire civilization, the whole globe, collapse whole system, put humanity at risk, and create chaos and confusion at each step and every bit. The pandemic caused due to COVID-19 outbreak has dragged us away too far from our regular and normal lives. It threatened the entire existence of mankind. It has spread fear all over the world, and we have no idea when can normalcy be restored. These restrictions are creating suffocations for us. This suffocation made each individual of the globe to think about it. The government and the different agencies are doing their all best to face and eradicate this global ill. This is a time for each and every one of us to, as an academician, as an intellectual group of society, to think over it. The medical fraternity, the police department, the corona warriors are working day in and out, serving the infected and striving for more. The corona outbreak and lockdown taught a lifelong lesson to humankind. It provided us with time to re-examine our lifestyle. We need to redefine the nature of technology, recycle the value system, have social agreements, inculcate rational and scientific perspective, equal redistribution of wealth and resources, and so on. Coronavirus disclosed a general view of human behavior. It is a panic, fearful for death and greedy in nature. We need to change. Lots of fears still persist. Fear educate people socially and hence develop a kind of Discipline. Influential people need to reinforce the message that this virus is not the end of the world. A new system, a new approach that will integrate fine art, culture, literature, yoga, science, technology, biology, psychology, political science, philosophy, economics, and research into a broad ecological framework. And that has to be reconstructed by us. Coronavirus was a strict warning bell. We humans have to amend ourselves before the final bell rings. When all stakeholders of the society, especially men of medical science, are doing everything possible to stop the crisis, can we educator and academician remain calm? Should literature and art take back seat? No, it has never been the case. The confrontation of human with epidemics and pandemics is as old as Earth. Whether it was the two world wars, or the Holocaust, or the Gulen, or the Bengal famine, or the things uh, just talked about by honorable uh, vice chancellors here, or any other epidemic, the literature and art have never taken the back seat in time of such crises, and has always shown the path to recovery, both at physical and spiritual level. Literature gives light and delight in such a moment of crisis. Writers over the years have projected these crises in their works, not only underlying their great impact on the globe and society, but also the resilience of human mind to tackle them, right from Homer's Iliad to, to Lingma's servants. Hundreds of stories about pandemic have represented how human beings responded to such public health crises and offered ways to face such calamities. Such literature and help us to teach how to confront such a moment of crisis. Pandemics have always inspired literature, art, and music, as uh, just uh, talk, uh, said by Honorable Munirji from Canada, to understand the interconnection between nature and humans. Books can provide awareness, motivation, and knowledge by encouraging us to think about the survival during crises and calamities. It projects the human conditions and involvement in such helplessness, terror, awfulness, and hopelessness condition. Such narrations in the literature showcases the historical aspects and also provide an encouragement consoling us that this tough time too will pass. A new hope of ray will arrive for betterment of the human life. It not only just investigates the causes of the deadly disease, effects of the society, economy, and political scenarios, but with the real sections of narration, it describes that humans are not the supreme power on the earth. 
and can become helpless in such a time and we are supposed not to be wild to our nature not to be wild to our animals not to be wild to our environments and to take precautionary measures for safety not only of the self not only of your society but of the whole nation but of the whole world whole universe the literature has this great job to make man reflect over what it has done and what he can as well as has to do a literary text therefore is the examination of human condition and metaphorical representation of pandemics we need literature to guide us through the storm during such time literature is the right source of the resilience of human mind the epidemics devastated the lives of human beings the people in the time lost their courage and hope they feel fear of their these epidemics and they are in mental dilemmas they are thinking about what is happening and what the next will happen now what is the proper source from which the people get resilience of their minds and the answer is literature the answer is art the answer is music the answer is yoga <coughs> literature teaches us a matter of common decency it helps us to understand the situation of the time how to take patience how to develop optimism and the self control and precautions which are the important tools to fight with these types of the epidemics in all such time of crisis literature helps us to make aware about the situation and for making future plans literature teaches us keep patience and believe in optimistic way because pandemics must have an end if we look after our lives and take some precautions in that time we can save our lives literature makes us aware about the situation such as the condition of the world in present covid 19 where people are under quarantine self distancing and lockdown the role of literature in rebuilding the shattered faith and loss of basic values in life during the catastrophic stage is very significant literature is believed to be the best friend of man forever literature is really substantial and has distinguished the outcome on human mind and understanding it functions in creation and propagation of the various imaginaries within the social setup i am thankful to organizers particularly dr rajesh saini for inviting me and making part of this august intellectual gathering i hope that through intellectual debate and discourse which will take place here would help to develop a new system a new approach which will integrate fine art culture literature yoga science technology and the research into broad ecological reconstructed framework in order to fight such pandemics just take corona virus as a strict warning bell once again i would like to say we humans have to amend ourselves before the final bell rings thank you mr rajesh thank you all namaste thank you dr arvind and m navle sir hod english department shivaji mahavidyalay उदगीर महाराष्ट्र आज बहुत ही इंटरनेशनल ई कॉन्फ्रेंस में आप सब लोगों ने बहुत अच्छे से अपने विचार प्रकट किए अपने टॉपिक्स पर